More and more today, we find that both the husband and the wife are working, and sometimes going in very separate directions. And yet when asked, they'll say that, that the thing that they're working for so hard is so they'll have more time to spend with their families. It was said by a person that was laying on their deathbed ready to pass over to the other side, they said, if I was starting my family over again, I would give my first priority to my wife and children, not to my work. Well, sometimes for a profound statement like that, it takes a lifetime of going in the wrong way and then realizing it was the wrong way. In Psalms 90, verse 12, it says, Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. What does that mean, teach us to number our days? For us to realize how valuable this now moment is. To, to not just go through our days, our weeks, our months, our years in a blur, but to be focused and to make decisions in the individual day unit of how we're going to spend quality time. As you know, caring for your family takes time, lots of time. And you've probably heard the difference about quality time and quantity time. Well, there is a difference, but your family needs both. So, as a responsible member of a loving family, you'll want to invest large quantities of time and energy into the care and the nurturing of your clan. But is your life right now so busy and your to-do list so full that you scarcely have a moment to spare? Does it seem like that you can never find enough time to spend with your family? If so, today might be a good day to, to number your day. Today, number one, this is what my first day will be in my new life. And you spend more time rearranging your priorities and your life. And while you're at it, make sure that God remains squarely at the center of your household. And when you do, God is going to bless you and your loved ones in ways that you could scarcely even imagine.